Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the exercise 5 of the MCAT laboratory. So this is the exercise 5. So here you need to create the front, top and side view for the given 3D model. So for this 3D model you need to create the front, top and side view. As usual you need to build this model in the solid modeling. Then you have to go for drawing view. Then you have to call this uh, 3D uh, solid part for projecting the principal views. So in order to construct this uh, model we have a different approach. So one of the simplest approach is that uh, you need to start this with the right uh, plane. So in the right plane you need to draw this closed sketch profile. Then you have to extrude this closed sketch profile to a length of uh, 95 mm. So this will make uh, this bottom portion completed. So after that uh, uh, you need to concentrate on this portion so for that you need to select this reference plane so this uh, surfaces and then you have to create this uh, sketch here so after that you need to extrude that sketch for a length of 100 mm so after this uh, creation of this portion then you have to concentrate on making rib so this rib is exactly in the center of the surface so finally you need to create the cutout here so let me discuss this model in the solid edge so go to solid edge Select the protrusion command, select the right reference plane. So now this dimension you can see this uh, length is 160. So here you can see this is 10 mm, that means this is also 10 mm. So, so that means 10 plus 10 here, 80 plus 20 is 100. So that means uh, total 160, you have 30 mm here and 30 mm here and 10 mm above and this 80 mm, uh, 100 mm here, then 10 mm below then 30 mm here so below you have 10 mm and 80 mm length slot here so this length is 160 make it 160 and bring this to the center here mm here 30 and afterwards 10 mm above then 100 mm linearly 10 mm downward direction You have the slot now so concentrate on slot so this slot uh, also 10 this length is 80 downward direction then you trim this close its sketch profile then click on return and extrude it for a length of 95 mm so then you have to concentrate on this portion so select this surface here and you have a, a sketch here for a height of this uh, 50 mm after that you have a semicircle of radius 25 and a diameter and a circle of diameter 30 mm so click on protrusion click on this surface 
now height is 50 mm in the remaining portion so complete the sketch close the sketch so trim these portions delete this line click on return it will show the error that it is not connected so that means uh, not connected here for that you need to delete this line again you draw it can see here this option that means it is connected to that curve and it should be connected to this line on return so now this length is you can see here 100 mm and this length is 100 or 100 here and 100 mm so you can just close this line and you need to create a rib here so this rib is exactly in the center of these surfaces so for selecting a rib you need to draw a uh, reference plane so here we have already a reference plane exactly in the center if you don't have any reference plane then you can offset uh, this reference plane so wherever is required since this length is 100 mm you can offset this reference plane to 50 so that it will come exactly in the center so you already have a reference plane here so no need to create the uh, reference plane again if you don't have any reference plane then you need to create it by this parallel plane option you can select any plane here you can select this surface and select this surface also this surface also you can uh, offset pair uh, make a offset of this uh, plane to a particular distance so the total length of this to this is 160 if you want a exact uh, uh, reference plane exactly in the center that means you need to offset this uh, uh, reference plane to a distance of 80 mm if you select this reference plane then you have to enter 50 mm since you already have the reference plane here so directly you click on rib option and select this center reference plane here it is asking parallel plane you will select on coincident plane that means selected plane so it will go to the sketch mode here here you just need to draw a circle uh, just need to draw a line to draw the rib just you need to draw a line so you can see here this line is touching this surface uh, tangent to this uh, surface so you draw a line starting from this edge and tangent to this you can see the tangent option it is coming here so till that you have to uh, extend this line so now click on return you can see here so this arrow marks should be always be inside if you uh, keep this arrow mark outside then there is no material there so the rib will not be created so this arrow mark should be always in the downward direction 
so you click here the thickness as 10 mm you can see here this rib thickness is 10 mm so you need to enter 10 mm here Finally, you need to draw the cutout operation. So, go to cutout operation here. So, this is the plane. This is the cutout plane. You can see this cutout plane. Here, this distance is uh, 95 minus 15 is uh, 80 mm. So, that means here 40 and here 40. So, in between it is 50 and this depth is 20 mm. And it is throughout so that means uh, complete this in the dimension here from this reference to this line should be 40 and this distance is automatically maintains this distance as 40 you can see here now again you need no need to draw this sketch here this side instead you can directly mirror this uh, sketch so select the mirror option here and select this uh, line uh, select this sketch you can box select this by dragging click and drag or you can select by holding control one one by one lines so you have to select the reference plane about which it has to be mirrored so the reference plane is this this plane here now this uh, sketch is created here mirror <coughs> so it avoids the uh, it saves the time you now click on return then give the distance as 10 as this thickness of the surface is 10 mm in the downward direction click enter finish you can see here this completes this model you can see here now you go to the named views click on iso now save it file save okay save it as model y it and go to drawing view click on sheet setup click on a4 sheet uncheck around this background click on ok click fit now go to the drawing view wizard select the model you have saved this is the model click on open click next click on front next finish I will select the scale as 1 is to 2 because this model is uh, very large so you cannot accomplish in a A4 sheet that's why I am making this scale as 1 is to 2 now click on principal uh, view select this uh, front view drag towards downward in order to get the top view similarly drag towards right to get the side view again you click on drawing view wizard go to select this model click on ok click next now click iso in order to get the 3d object so this is your 3d object now you concentrate on dimensioning give the important dimension wherever required Here also you can mention the dimensions. Thank you.
your text if you want so this finishes this model thank you thank you for watching